So time to uh, do some nuclear reactions with the decays as being our focus uh, today. So we want to fill in the blanks for these uh, radioactive decays that you see listed here. Uh, first, uh, nickel 60 going to question mark and uh, the blanks there and plus an alpha. So it's an alpha decay. Now in working these types of problems, there are two rules that you should follow. One is that you must conserve charge. That is the, uh, the bottom number on our, our symbols here. So we'll have a certain number on the left. We'll have a sum of numbers on the right. Those must match. Second rule is we have to conserve the count of nucleons. And that's our top number, 60, in this case. So our method here will be to first take advantage that we're given the chemical symbol, nickel. So we go to a table and we look up, we find that nickel has 28 protons. The proton count identifies the element, the chemical symbol. The chemical symbol identifies the proton count. All nickel isotopes have 28 protons. Secondly, we'll take a look at our decay product here, the alpha. The alpha you've memorized has four nucleons and has a charge of two. So four nucleons and a charge of two. I'm going to put the nucleon number in green. So how do we uh, obey these laws? We're conserving charge. I need a 26 here. So 26 plus 2 produces the 28. We're conserving nucleon number. I have a 60. We use up 4 with the alpha. So we need a 56. And now we go to a table and we look up what element has 26 protons and we find that it's iron. So we go ahead and write that in. We've completed this uh, equation. We balanced it. The charge that we have on the left, the plus 28. We've got plus 28 on the right. The count of nucleons, 60. We've got 60 nucleons on the right. So another one. Here, a beta decay, the normal beta decay. And again, we'd go to our, our table. We find that cobalt has 27 protons. The beta, we've memorized, is not a proton or a neutron. It's an electron. And this normal beta decay, the charge is minus 1. Then we have an antineutrino. It has zero nucleons in it, and it has a charge of zero. So what number added to minus 1 will produce 27? And you've probably deduced it's 28. What number added to zero produces 60? See how easy this is. And now we go to our table. We look up what element has 28. Uh, protons, or we remember what we did above, and we find that it's nickel. Then we've completed that uh, nuclear decay, describing it with the count of protons and neutrons and the charge. Our last one here, cobalt that's been uh, energized, excited, it's carrying extra energy in the nucleus. That's the meaning of the asterisk. Well, cobalt has 27 protons. The gamma that comes off, we look now to fill in its blanks. The gamma has no protons or neutrons. The gamma has no charge. It's a photon. And now we have to complete the uh, reaction over here. We have 27 for the uh, charge number on the left. So we have 27 for the charge number on the right. We have 60 nucleons on the left. We have 60 on the right. And we know what the element this is. If it has 27 protons, it's cobalt. So that's the method of uh, filling in nuclear reactions for the, uh, the count of the charge and the count of protons and neutrons. We conserve charge. We conserve the count of protons and neutrons. I first go to uh, 
some table, look up the chemical symbol and find out what the uh, number of protons is. Secondly, I remember what uh, the count of protons and neutrons and what the charge number is for the radioactive decay. Third, I make the equations balanced. So I, I determine what number has to be added to produce the number on the left, to do that for both the charge number and for the count of protons and neutrons. So you should practice some of these and ask some questions.